Good morning, Danny. Good morning. Guess what? What? It is our 100th show. It is? Yes, it is. It's a very special day. That's 100 videos we've done since this pandemic started. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, that is a lot. Where's my microphone? Um, what? Where's my microphone? You don't need one. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, you don't need one. Okay. Oh, so what the see, uh, isolation of Danny, uh, number 20. 20. Yeah, that and we did 80 of the other ones, so we're at uh, 100. Oh, good. Are we going to get a cake? No, I'm still on my diet. Oh, can we put a candle in your cottage cheese? <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. On to Souk again. Well, surely. Yeah. Have you ever taken Shelly to Shirley? Yes, I have taken Shelly to Shirley. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so we're back out at Murray's cabin, and we're going to go next door and meet the Lego Man. Lego Man James! Yeah, Lego Man James. We saw Marty. Yeah, that was great. Uh, the, the blacksmith. Yeah, he was fantastic. Yeah, that yeah, was really good. But uh, we're going to go see uh, James today. Oh, that's good. And only one problem. What? Um... Halfway through the video, we messed up and uh, uh, we lost a bunch of the video over in the second uh, room. Oh, no. But, uh, well, you'll see when it gets screwed up. Okay. <laughs> we left a little bit in. All right. So we're going to go see James now and we'll take care of that. So here we are coming back to the cabin. Back to the cabin. And we'll see Murray and we're going to go check out his new golf course. Golf course? Yeah, he put in a golf course. He figured, well, if Trump can have his, he can have Murray Lago. Murray Lago's great. Yeah, Murray Lago's great. So we got a little picture of the Murray's golf course, too. That's fantastic. Yes, it is. All right, and then we'll go from there. We'll go over to James, and uh, what we're going to do is, since we lost some of the video, I put in a little extra video at the end about uh, James's... Uh, model trains. Model trains, and then we're going to go over and see his steam traction engine that he can actually runs on the road the model of that and it's really cool it's fantastic it really is fantastic um yeah so he's going to tell you about all that stuff he's very very well spoken and easy to understand that's good yeah so okay well let's go back to souk surely let's go back to shirley Well, here we are in Shirley, out to see Murray, and we'll go over here. Uh, Danny's making himself at home. We're just going to have a cup of coffee, and then we're going to go over to James's place, which is beyond the golf course. Yes, the golf course. More <laughs> film, film at eleven. We'll cover that in a minute. Yeah, something new at the cabin now. The putting greens. Oh, there's Marie. I guess the coffee's ready. Go have coffee. All right, now we're going over to see James. There comes Danny and Murray. Hey. Yeah, and this is James in here. Hello. How are you today, James? Good. You gonna show us around? Oh, absolutely. All so right. This is like Legoland of Victoria almost, uh, except that Legoland's trademarked, so I'm probably not supposed to say that. No. Actually. Let's have a look around then. What do you got going on here? You got so, uh, trains all over the place? Trains all over the place. Uh, Lego all over the place. Yeah. Um, I'm one of the members of Victoria Lego Users Group, and this is in fact my basement uh, empire, if you will. 
Uh, and there's at least 450,000 pieces of Lego in here, and quite possibly more than that. Um, and uh, yeah, so the trains go a fair distance around, and then there's various Lego, both sets and my own creations. In here. All right, well, let's have a look around, see what we got going on here. This is one of the main rooms, or? Yeah, there's two main rooms. There's this, which was uh, I put onto the house, um, not just for Lego. Before you think that I'm that crazy, no, I had uh, we had another child and I needed another bedroom, so we put a bedroom. And this was the uh, is the underneath of the rain deflector, um, and uh, it's got most of my Lego, which is stored, is in here. Uh, and then there's a fair amount of table surface as well. Uh, which is slowly being worked on in terms of putting things together. Um, for some parts of it, because it's all modular, it depends on how long I, it's been since we did a show. Since we, Viclug hasn't been doing shows, uh, I think people can guess why. Uh, there's been more stuff which I've set up here at home instead of having it just boxed and taking yeah. it out. Oh yeah, we'll just have a few looks at your little projects around here. A Volkswagen up there? Yeah, there's a Volkswagen up there, uh, which is a set, and then uh, a heavy haulage truck, which is my own design, this blue and white one. Yeah. And then the uh, cat on the back, which is a Lego set, but the float is also my own design. Yeah. And then there's a lot of sets up there, which mm. are mostly stored, um, so that that way I have somewhere to hide them. Uh, they do go to shows, but they're not the big thing for our club. However, since I have a lot of them and I don't really want to fancy taking them apart to put them together again ever, uh, they kind of sit around. Then there's a couple flying airplanes up there, mm -hmm. uh, Bright Brothers Flyer, uh, a Southworth Camel in the front being chased, of course, by the Red Baron. Yep. Uh, we don't have a Snoopy in the, in the Camel, but uh, certainly that one comes to mind as uh, things that there are. See Murray and Danny are over there. It's sure colorful, isn't it? It is. So I use the Lego. I have a scale model railway as well. Um, I use the Lego as a far more fun way of building uh, at times than the scale model railway is. Yeah, you got lots of spare parts. <laughs> oh, your windmill's going around. Gull wing doors. Yes. <laughs> yeah. About a twenty year old set now actually. Yeah. Yeah, not just Lego. No. Mm. So this is way inside of it, who dances beautifully. Yeah. Um, but uh, it is definitely, uh, I, I have received complaints in the past about it. So apparently, you know, uh, publicizing the seedier side of Lego cities are, is um, unfortunate. I mean, it is, after all, the only one left in Victoria. Yeah. What's this thing over here, this big... So the black building is yeah. what I call now is the electric company because the inside of it is an electrical uh, monstrosity. It has uh, an Arduino running about 16 channels of lighting. Oh, yeah. Uh, so it does a variety of lighting effects inside of it. Um, mm. And it's all done just with timers. Oh, helicopters. Yeah. Look over there, he's got a spiral.
All right, what have we got here? So this is Long Martin on the Settle and Carlisle in uh, 172nd scale. Uh, it's a double O scale model railway, which means it's four millimeters to the foot running on 16 and a half millimeter track, uh, which has its own set of compromises, but the same as anything in life, one makes compromises. Um, to scale, it's approximately correct for length. Uh, for width, it, we're going to end up with it about one third as wide as it should be for what's in here. The uh, left hand, sorry, the right hand side is storage and is used to supply trains. The whole, the whole of it is set up to be operated using a computer to dispatch trains to me operating as a signalman or somebody else operating as a signalman. Uh, so all the signals in the station function. And uh, if you don't correctly answer what you're supposed to do or reasonably correctly answer, then the trains don't run. Uh, is the answer the train will come and stop and wait until you do actually get it right. This is your switching this is here? The, this is the signal box. Yeah. So what you have is a mechanical computer, if you will. Um, it's called an interlocking. And uh, in simple terms, it lets you do things conditionally. So if something won't, you can't set to run a train through until you've already set the switches. Once you set the si switches so that your a train could come through, you can't uh, change them until the train has gone through. What are the telegraph things here? So the telegraph keys are used, again, in terms of talking to and from the computer. And uh, what it does is, is there's bell codes which are used for communicating between what would be this signal box at Long Martin and the other two signal boxes, one at Appleby and one at New Biggin, uh, when this signal box was open at Long Martin, it closed in 68. Wow. Um, so if you don't answer the keys, then the computer will repeat it. Um, eventually what will happen is the train will come to your first signal, which is interlocked to your responses to the keys. So there were two um, single line, in, or not single line instruments, but two bell instruments, and they would be interlocked to your signals so that you couldn't set your signals to allow a train to go through until you would acknowledge that the train was coming. Oh, wow. Um, so the drivers had enough distance to stop because it's all, you're, if you're driving a train, you're driving to the signals, you're not driving to what's in front of you on the track in England. Hmm. A sec. All right, what do we got here? So what we've got here is a Fowler R3, uh, seven nominal horsepower road loco, uh, which was built by a gentleman by the name of Phil Soden in Ontario. Uh, started in about 1983. And uh, the reason why it has the funny stuff on the front is, is that it does occasionally get a BC driver's license or dri plate on it for when I'm driving on the road. Uh, it weighs 1,640 pounds when you're driving up the driveway before you run over somebody yeah and uh so therefore it's quite the the toy uh phil got told he had to get rid of one of his hobbies and this was the one which he picked to dispose of lucky uh, you <laughs> well yes there was some negotiation and at a price which you know murray would be much more familiar with than most people uh it came in our in my direction um it is a, a beautiful piece of work uh, and his workmanship was is outstanding in it. I've known it since I was you know, sort of six or seven. Um, yeah, well, there, there was a story, or there is a story about it. Uh, it started out with my dad and Phil uh, with two-inch models and a bottle of scotch, which was full, and it ended up with a phone call about two weeks later to my dad saying from Phil, uh, "Come over, the first the castings have arrived." Yeah. Um, and at the time. It, so mid 1980s it would have been amongst the larger engines which castings and drawings would have been available for now you can get them up to nine inch scale uh, so this is a four inch to the foot scale model well danny how was that it was all right what do you mean it was all right you don't let me play <laughs> what do you mean you sat in the car and told me to be quiet and not touch anything well it was a good idea to do that yeah Yo, you don't let me play at all well i'm sorry Oh, well, it was a great day. Oh, Jesus, fantastic. You're a jerk. <laughs> I, well, I don't want you to break anything. Okay. All right, so that'll be it for today? Yeah, that's plenty. <laughs> that is plenty. So what are we going to do? Going to stay calm. Yeah, you are.
Yeah. And what else are we going to do? Be safe. Yeah. And what else are we going to do? Uh, be kind. Yeah, be kind. Okay. All right. So that's it for today. Okay. That's a wrap. 100. 100 shows. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, which one of you haven't subscribed yet? It doesn't cost anything. And ring the bell.